subscribe now. EU debates. So I think the status quo is, uh, or the basic starting point is the Versailles Declaration, where member states uh, unanimously agreed that there can be only a move uh, in the sanctions when all the national circumstances and the, the right to the own energy mix of the member states is duly taken into consideration. For Hungary, the first priority is the guarantee of uh, the energy supply and uh, also the energy security. Uh, for this reason, uh, there must be a strategic plan, on the, not only on the short, but also the mid and long term in order to uh, phase out uh, any kind of Russian fossil fuel uh, sources. Uh, Hungary also made it clear for all the partners that uh, there are uh, clear facts as, as a, a landlocked country. We have no sea, uh, so this is a different situation than in case of other countries. And also historically, uh, which was not Hungary's decision after the Second World War, but the pipeline system was uh, built uh, uh, with a close uh, dependence uh, from the Russian uh, fossil resources. So first we have to have a strategic planning, uh, how to uh, phase out uh, on the long run uh, uh, these uh, fossil resources. The second one is the pipeline issue, because uh, if you want to replace uh, uh, Russian oil through the Adriatic pipeline, this needs a lot of infrastructure investments, which is not only on the side of the Hungarian, but also on the other side uh, uh, of uh, other partners, other countries of the members of, uh, of the European Union. And also we need to readjust. We, we are in, in close negotiations with the European Commission, so all our cards are on the table. And there is also the refinery issue, because uh, our refineries in Hungary, but also in Slovakia, they are you know, adapted to Russian uh, oil in order to um, produce or proceed, uh, process uh, other types of uh, uh, fossil fuels. There needs to be a lot of uh, readjustment in the refineries. This needs time and, and also uh, with investment. And also in the transition period, we need to guarantee that there is an ongoing supply of these energy uh, um, demands. Uh, so these are physical, mathematical facts, uh, and uh, I do hope that in the spirit of the Versailles uh, Agreement, Versailles Declaration, all countries, national circumstances, and the right to their own energy mix will be taken into consideration. Uh, this is why I'm here, actually. So uh, we are also circulating non-papers, and we are, you know, making this clear for our partners that uh, if we all look at the map in Europe, and we are looking for the blue colors, which are the sea, uh, Hungary is uh, clearly a landlocked country. So for us, this challenge is completely different than for those who have uh, historically different uh, connections uh, to this. Like Slovakia is in the in the similar situation. Like Slovakia is also uh, in the same uh, landlock uh, situation. So I only ask our partners for understanding, and uh, this is uh, also uh, need to take into consideration in the strategic horizon because uh, we are moving towards uh, a CO2 neutral uh, industry. But these investments were made uh, or would be made into fossil uh, technology. So we need to be uh, clear on that, that we are in a transition to this uh, CO2 neutral uh, economy in Europe, which, is, uh, uh, which needs uh, different types of investments also on the, on the long run. So these are all strategic uh, economic planning uh, issues and, and also geographical and, and factual so if you give issues. Time and money, you would agree to, to, the, to the sanctions package? We, we need to see the, the Commission's uh, uh, solutions. That's why we say solutions first and then sanctions afterwards. Thank you very much. It depends on uh, how, how quickly they can uh, consider uh, these facts. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.